In fact, this person right here uh, is a prominent activist and said uh, every five years we get elected members of parliament and senators uh, in Kenya uh, a car that's worth 33000 but we don't have money to drill boreholes for our people. So that just more so seems to be chastising the government. And then here's the quote from the activist who called out Mr. Beast. But let's actually look at the quote. Overnight, this person comes along who happens to be a white male figure with a huge platform, and all of a sudden he gets all this attention. It's a little frustrating, but it, uh, it's also understanding uh, the nature of how the world is. And then. Wait, what? When she added, uh, happens a white male figure, he gets all the attention. It, it's kind of frustrating. What's frustrating about that? Anyway, it's frustrating that white people get attention? And she praised huh? almost none of this happened guys guys i'm sorry for y'all white people in chat okay currently okay the the meta is not not white okay we're currently a bit off meta so we're gonna have to play cool a little bit okay we'll come back maybe down the line maybe later right now we're off meta so everybody's gotta chill if we actually take a look at the yahoo article a lot of the first people quoted in this are just supporting mr beast in fact, this person right here, full of people, this is ridiculous. The real thing that makes these activists mad is that Mr. B solved- Guys, I'm just fucking kidding. Guys, that was ironic. How- Why do you guys not catch sarcasm when it's like obvious in your face? Okay? I'm just saying, anytime there's- there's something, it bro, it's just been like, people put white in front of everything. Like, every word possible, every- every status, people say either it's, it's white this or white that. White this or white that. Like it has to be, oh, this is good, but it's been achieved by somebody who's white, so eh, gotta notch it down a little bit. I think that's weird as fuck. I think it's odd. I think it's just why, though. I, I, it's a problem for little money and little time showing that everything's corrupt. I just think it's weird. Colin it's said, Bates, report, uh, very journalistically, activists are upset at YouTuber Mr. Beast for building 100 wells across Africa. And then said, uh, with a direct quote here, uh, they're actually mad because Mr. Beast was a white male solving the problem. Quote, I've been doing this for 15 years, but we've been struggling to continue the work because of fundraising, awareness, advocacy, that all takes work, says the founder of Face Africa. Uh, and then overnight, this person comes along who happens to be a white male figure, and then, and then. So who wrote this? Hmm. Maybe because they're annoyed? Oh, okay. <laughs> The activist said, uh, with a direct quote here, uh, they're actually mad because Mr. Beast was a white male solving the problem. Quote, I've been doing this for 15 years, but we've been struggling to continue. So it's a white guy saving the black people or the Africans from the white guy building wells. So this guy is basically saying, you can't help them because you're white. Here, I'm going to help them instead. Wait a minute. I'm white too. Fuck. What are we doing here? I mean, uh, because well, of I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Advocacy it's what he says, says not me. Says the founder of Face Africa. Uh, and then overnight, this person comes along who happens to be a white male figure. And then, and then he's quoting that person. Uh, Is this guy and, white? And then Mr. B, and then quoted the Mr. Beast candy cancel. So, so maybe it's true. All right, maybe it's not dog shit journals. Maybe Mr. Beast is getting canceled because he's a white man who came in and solved this issue of uh, uh, no access him. to water for half a million people, which I think we could all shake firm hands about and say that's why well, he identifies as black i mean dude boy i look at the picture okay I mean, forget, forget, forget it dude I, I i'm, I'm done commenting okay. on the video i think if he's able to use his money and his resources to help people i don't give a shit if he is white or if he is six foot three or if he does occasionally show pictures of himself shirtless looking quite ripped but holding his balls somewhat hard i have no problem with that because the good he is doing is more important but that's not what actually happened like, almost none of this happened. If we actually take a look at the Yahoo article, a lot of the first people quoted in this are just supporting Mr. Beast. In fact, this person right here uh, is a prominent activist and said, uh, every five years we get elected members of parliament and senators uh, in Kenya uh, a car that's worth 33000 but we don't have money to drill boreholes for our people. So that just more so seems to be chastising the government. And then here's the quote from the activist who called out Mr. Beast. But let's actually look at the quote. Overnight, this person comes along who happens to be a white male figure with a huge platform, and all of a sudden he gets all this attention. It's a little frustrating, but... Something important, I think. 
I always talk about the exchange when you do good for people, right? You can do good even if you profit from it. But I think something, something to remember from Mr. Bezos is that the video he made, he builds a hundred wells, right? And then he makes content out of like five of them or four of them, right? A lot, most people will make, well, most people these days on social media, well, they, they'll do, let's say one well, and they'll make like 10 videos. And then the exchange stands in the middle somewhere where it becomes uh, a fair exchange and then it kind of moves up. And I think Mr. Reese is on the higher echelon of that. It's also understanding uh, the nature of how the world is. And then she praised Mr. Beast for shining the spotlight on the need for clean water supply, but warned the issue is sustainability. Because what happens is a lot of people come along, they'll build a well, they'll make a borehole, but then it won't be functional in three to five years, and then they have to go back to unsafe creek water or, or river water or whatever. So so yes, that that's fair. That's That's a good concern to throw out there. And if in five years, all 100 Mr. Beast boreholes are no longer working and all those people have to go back to creeks, we could talk about it at that point. But I wouldn't really call this a, a scathing activist lambasting Mr. Beast. The only thing that I think would perturb people is the white male figure part of it. Why is race being thrown into it? And that's a whole nother issue with, I think, a lot of people maybe in Kenya being proud and, and different things going on there. But, but as a whole... I don't really find to be a, an attempt at canceling Mr. Beast. I think it's someone who's just asked their thoughts, who uh, is also helping uh, tackle similar issues, right? But then if we look at back, back at this quote, Colin also says, others were upset that Mr. Beast highlighted the failures of the Kenyan government that maintained the stereotype that Africa is dependent on handouts and philanthropic intervention. Others. All right, well, let's take a look at who these others are. It turns out they are one other, a Kenyan politician named Francis Gaito, who criticized Mr. Beast, saying uh, that, uh, like he said here, Africa is dependent on handouts and philanthropic uh, intervention. That's one. Um, he perpetrated the stereotype that uh, dependent on handouts, huh? Dude, that was, that was, it's literally one person. He's right here. This is the video he made. And let me tell you, he got clowned on. The video's got 1.1 million views, 1.1K uh, K likes, 1,000 quote retweets. People are not happy with the video that he made here. He's also just an aspiring politician, which is just different phrasing for a dude. Aspiring politician's not a job. It's the hope for a job. I'm an aspiring YouTuber with 10 million subscribers. I'm not that. What's, what's the point? What is the purpose of this? This all started because of the sentence activists, which isn't even accurate, by the way. Cool. The activists did not say that this helped perpetuate the stereotype that Africa is dependent on handouts. That's what the aspiring politician said. The activist, singular, said a whole different sentence. This is just a misquote. It's a malattributed quote. I don't know why the fuck Yahoo News did that. It's like an underwater because ceramic Yahoo technician. News did that, then Colin showed up. And did the same fucking thing. Colin showed up and he, and he started quoting activists and others. But that's, that's not right. It, it was one person. One activist. It was one politician that was quoted. And then all of a sudden there's like this huge group of people who are like, Mr. Beast getting fucking canceled. This makes no damn sense. I bet it's the liberal. <laughs> I bet it's the liberals unhappy that a white man's successful. It's not it. This is not what's going on even a little bit, tiny bit at all. They're not following the SPJ code of ethics, by the way, if you're a journalism student. So they're, they're predicting the, the people who are going to try to cancel them. And they're making them like a nothing burger. Got it. Or an aspiring journalist, this is what you should be following. The four pillars. I'm going to teach you it. You should remember this shit. And you ever see a journalist who's acting up, you tell them, Hey, where are your pillars? Because they'll fucking know. That Yahoo journalist should know. Seek truth and report it. That's the fundamental. That's the basis of everything we report on. Act independently, right? We're not supposed to just retweet what other people are doing. You're trying to do your own fucking thing here. Minimize harm. Oh, that's a key one. Make sure that everyone is treated as a human deserving of respect. And then be accountable and transparent. All right, how'd you find your news? If you fuck up, maybe Chad, own up that you SPJ? fucked up. Yahoo News. I don't think anybody cares about this journalist there. I don't think you follow the four pillars very well. Anyway, that's it. That's that's the Mr. Beast drama. The only criticism I saw of Mr. Beast that had any sort of support 
was this quote retweet that it said, I think Mr. Beast would be an incredible channel if he talked a bit more about why he has to do this while doing it. Basically um, saying, hey, what are the systemic fundamental problems with me? I, I also disagree with this guy because he, I think he does that on the philanthropy channel. And the main channel is more for direct content. And I'm sorry to say it, chat. I'm sorry. Nobody wants to fucking listen to some guy explain the whole thing like for 10 minutes, additional minutes. Sorry about that. I'm sorry to say this because this will sound weird. But even though it's good in its wells, people don't give a fuck. They won't, they won't listen. Maybe this uh, uh, group of people versus this group of people, and then and then fix the thing, and then say, hey, here's how you, as an individual now informed with knowledge, could hopefully help this or prevent this from happening in the future, which you know I, is a fair criticism. Maybe you could argue, hey, it's a, it's a, a bit annoying to sit from the high tower and be like, ah, do this now too after after he just added a hundred fucking wells. You know, I feel like that's that's already pretty good. Uh, but that doesn't really feel like getting canceled to me. So it's all a bunch of hubbla. He didn't get fucking canceled. Most people don't give a shit. And the, most people who do give a shit are just mad at people canceling him, which doesn't exist. It's one aspiring Kenyan politician and one activist who was misquoted. There we go. There it is. All right, let's do better fucking journalism next year, baby. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I'll make more. Oh, whatever. Is this post-lesson? What post-lesson?